So in this simulation, we want to test how the behavior of different sized atoms um, changes as it passes through our charged plates here. So the sizes of atoms that we have, we have hydrogen, which is a very, very small atom. It has one atomic mass. If we bump it up, we can go to lithium, which has seven atomic mass units. And we can go much larger with carbon, who has 12 atomic mass units. Now, we're going to start small. And notice that I don't have any charges on the plates right now. So just to make sure that we're all on the same page, if there's no charge on the plates and we send a negatively charged atom of hydrogen through it, it's just going to pass through. Same thing for a positively charged version of hydrogen. It's just going to pass through. If I go to a medium-sized atom like lithium and I do the same thing, a negatively charged version passes through and a positively charged version passes through. Then I can go to carbon and notice carbon does the same thing. Okay, now let's slide all the way back down to hydrogen, a very small little atom. We want to put a very heavy duty charge on the plate. So we're going to increase the charge on the plates a thousand fold. And now we're going to send a negatively charged version of hydrogen through these plates. And we want to take very close observations of how that atom behaves. And if I send a positive version through, all right, so now I'm going to bump it up to lithium. I'm going to send a negative version through. And I'm going to send a positive version through. And finally, we're going to look at big old carbon. So the question is, how does the mass of the atom affect its behavior as it passes through the charged plates?